What is going on, my champions of the world, and welcome to Cinco de Mayo Fan Mail Friday. We got some packages, some letters from your champions, so let's check it out. First one up comes from Joseph, and it comes from New Hampshire. Whoa, we got a bunch of DVDs in here? We got a bunch of DVDs, no covers on them. Hold up, let's see what they are. We got, ooh, they're WWE. DVDs. This is the history of the Intercontinental Championship, Disc 1, the 1980s, the 2000s, and Money in the Bank 2011. Thank you, Joseph. Next one up comes from Anthony, and he lives in New Jersey. My YouTube channel is at Anthony Guzzi. Definitely gonna have to check out your YouTube channel, Anthony. We got a big old return envelope for some big old goodies to throw up in there. Raw vs. Smackdown Live. Who would win? Who do you think would win? It depends like who would show up. Like is Brock Lesnar gonna show up? Is John Cena gonna show up? They should have some kind of battleground between these guys, don't you think? Talk about battleground, super card. Supercar Battleground going on right now. All right, what do we got here? John Cena! I love it, thank you. I love the colors too. A whole bunch of drawings going on right here. You can't see me, hustle, loyalty, respect. Who is your favorite champion in 2017? So this year, my favorite champion, we're only in May, Cinco de Mayo. Um, I'm gonna go with Bailey. Bailey so far has been my favorite champion, Um, even though she, she dropped the title. It's okay, I still love you, girl. You, you the champ to me. You always gonna be the champ, you the queen. I have a YouTube channel, it is Anthony Guzzi. Definitely gonna check it out. Anthony, thank you so much for the letter and the drawings and definitely will send you some goodies. All right, next one up comes from Andrew Phillips and it comes from Florida. What's up, Andrew? Whoa! You know when you open up a bag, you could just smell the snacks and the treats and the goodies and there are all goodies in here. We got some M&M's. We got some Sour Patch Kids. That's a lot of candy. We got some jelly beans. Oh, I never heard of these before, but there's ice cream flavored jelly beans. I feel like we should like open this. Starburst jelly beans. I need to try some ice cream flavored jelly beans. Y'all know what I'm saying? Try all those. Ah! Nope. Oh, I guess Boo's gonna try a jelly bean. Mmm. <laughs> But I was getting an action figure. Dana Brooke! What up, Dana Brooke? I love her entrance in WWE 2K17. It's so funny. She's awesome. Thank you so much, Andrew. We got some super cards in here. It's me, Andrew, your biggest fan, and this is my 23rd letter that I am writing to you, and I'm definitely having a super exciting and amazing time. But I did bring back The Sims Season 3 of WWE Family, so I hope you guys are enjoying that and checking that out. Questions. What was your reaction when Braun Strowman suplexed the big show? I was just like, this ring is gonna collapse. It's gonna be wild. It's gonna be crazy. And then the ring did collapse and it was wild and it was crazy. And it's like, it's something you don't get to see often. So when it happens, it's pretty special. Um, it was amazing. That, that was unbelievable. Andrew, thank you so much for the goodies and the action figure and the letter. Next one up comes from Jake and it comes from New York. Ooh, we got another DVD. Ooh, supercar flying out of me. <laughs> we got a DVD, Hell in a Cell 2013. We got Randy Orton on the front and we got CM Punk on the back. I miss you CM Punk. Thank you for the DVD. Dear Luge, you are my favorite YouTuber. I've been watching your channel for a year and I'm nine years old and you are awesome. Thank you! Y'all are awesome, seriously. By the way, now, since the Superstar Shake Up started, who is your favorite wrestler on Raw? And also, who is your favorite on SmackDown? P.S. I also like the Mets. Let's go Mets! So, I feel like with the Superstar Shake Up, it really hasn't changed as far as my favorite wrestler has gone. Um, Bayley on Raw is still my favorite, and John Cena on SmackDown is still my favorite. But yeah, let me know if yours changed, if your superstar, who's your favorite superstar, did they go over to a different brand? Let me know down in the comment section below. Thank you so much for the DVD and the letter. 
Next one up comes from Jeremy and it comes from New York. We got a return envelope. So yeah champs, if you want to send any fan mail, definitely include a return envelope. This way I can mail back some goodies to you, put your name, put your address on it. If you can, throw a stamp on there. It makes it so much easier for me to throw some goodies in there and then mail them out. We got some super cards in here! I like your drawing. I love ECW and WWE. Dear Luge, hey, it's me, Jeremy. How are you doing? Doing good, Cinco de Mayo. We got the weekend, we got Fan Mail Friday. I'm doing awesome, I hope you guys are as well. Do you think The Undertaker will be in the Hall of Fame? Absolutely, definitely. Whenever he wants to retire officially, and like say he's retiring, because I don't know what that meant when he left all his gear in the ring. Is that a sign? Is he retiring? Is he done? I don't know, but the second he wants to retire, definitely will be in the Hall of Fame. Thank you so much for reading my letter. Sincerely, Jeremy. Jeremy, thank you so much for sending me the letter. Next one up comes from Emma, and it comes from Wisconsin. Woo, more candy. We got a Jolly Rancher in here. Hi, Luge. My name is Emma, and I'm a huge fan of you. I've been watching your videos since 2016. I love WWE. My favorite from Raw is Sasha Banks, and my favorite from SmackDown is Naomi. Who do you like? First off, I, I like what they're doing with the whole women roster right now on SmackDown. Smackdown um, with everyone like teaming up and going against Charlotte since she's like the new girl but then like Becky Lynch siding with Charlotte and even like Naomi was teaming up with Charlotte so it's interesting and I kind of like uh, the whole shakeup thing that's going on right now with the women's division definitely can send you some goodies thank you so much Emma next one up comes from Elizabeth and it comes from Wisconsin we got a return envelope for Elizabeth. Dear Lauren, it's about time that I finally write you a letter. It's about time, Elizabeth. Where you been all my life? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> I've been watching your videos for almost a year now. Your videos are simply amazing. Thank you for that. Thank you for all the work you put into it for us. I'm definitely going to do this more often. I just have a few questions for you. If you could put two wrestlers in a relationship that aren't in one now, who would they be? Holy smokes, um, that's a very good question. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not like, I'm not the matchmaker. I don't know if if, um, if I could do this properly, but I, I guess I'll give it a shot. Um, I'm trying to think of like, I'm trying to think of like a funny couple that I could try to match up. Like I'm thinking like Bray Wyatt and like Bailey <laughs> or something crazy like that, but I don't know. I don't know, that's a good question. You know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave that to you guys in the comment section. Which two wrestlers would you put in a relationship if you could do it? Let me know, that's a good question. Sincerely, your subscriber, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, thank you so much for the letter and the questions. All right, next one up is from Australia, Airmail, and it comes from Sabrina. Dear Luge, this is my first time writing to you. You are my favorite YouTuber. My name is Rena and I'm eight years old. I've been watching you for three months and you've inspired me to watch WWE. Please send some goodies. Absolutely send you some goodies. Rena, thank you so much for the letter. And WWE is so much fun. I'm glad that you are now part of the WWE universe and part of the Luge Mania family. All right, my champions of the world. Last one up on this Cinco de Mayo edition of Fan Mail Friday. And it comes from Tim and it comes from Oklahoma. We got a return envelope for some goodies. Hey Luge, this is my first ever fan mail letter I've written to someone. Y'all make me feel special. I also have really bad handwriting. That's why I'm typing this letter. I appreciate that. Thank you, because my eyes would strain and I wouldn't be able to read it, but I would try my best. But no, thank you, seriously, for, <laughs> for typing it out. Who do you think should be Asuka for the NXT Women's Championship? I was thinking maybe Ember Moon, but I don't know. I think Asuka's gonna be champion forever. Forever. Ain't no one gonna beat Asuka. Ain't nobody gonna be Asuka, but maybe Ember Moon. We'll see. <laughs> Last, who do you think should be in WWE that isn't new or old? Okay, so I miss Cody Rhodes and I also miss Damian Sandow. So, kind of wish they were back in WWE. CM Punk, AJ Lee. Yeah, it'd be nice to have them back. From Tim. P.S. I would draw you something, but I have no creative bones in my body. Tim, don't worry about it. Thank you so much for the letter and the questions. Thank you champs so much for making Fan Mail Friday the best day of the week. Your champs always do. If you want to send anything, my PO box is listed down below in the description. If you can't send anything, don't worry about it. Leave a comment down below and I'll be in and out of the comment section throughout the day trying to answer each and every single one of you champions back. And I'll see you champions 
in the next one. Enjoy your Cinco de Mayo as I enjoy these jelly beans. Oh, I love candy. I love candy, boo. Hey, boo's under my feet, hoping that I drop another jelly bean. But I didn't, boo, I ate them. I don't think that'd be good for your diet to eat the jelly beans, boo. I don't think so. Mm -mm. Don't forget to drop an elbow on that subscribe button and that like button for future videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, champs.